Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have five tips to deep clean your kitchen this year, any time of year. I'm doing it for spring, we're getting into spring here in a few weeks here in Michigan, so I'm going to give you my five most important spring tip, spring cleaning tips for the kitchen. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I did was deep clean my garbage disposal and my sink. I clean my garbage disposal and sink by taking baking soda, pouring it down the drain, followed by vinegar. I let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, and then I take a little scrubby and give it a good scrub all the way around with the baking soda and vinegar mixture. All right, so moving on, I go ahead and give a deep clean to my coffee maker and my Keurig. And basically how I do this, and this has been around for God only knows how long, but for years, I take vinegar and I run cycles of it through my Keurig. And you can also do this with a normal coffee maker. So once that vinegar mixture, it's about a fourth cup of um, vinegar along with the water, once it all cycles through, then I go ahead and put clear water through it and clean all the compartments with it really well with warm soapy water. And then if it's still, I kind of run one cycle and I taste to see if there's any vinegar taste. And if there still is a vinegar taste, then I run more clear water through it. I love cleaning with vinegar. If you've been following me for a while, you know that. You have to clean those Keurigs and you have to clean those coffee makers. I'm giving it a good wipe down and making sure everything is nice and clean and all of that goodness in the Keurig. And like I said, you can do this in your coffee maker as well. Now it's time to deep clean and freshen up your microwave. The microwave is a house to many disasters in my house. I don't know about you guys. And it's essential that I give this a good deep cleaning and a good fresh, fresh smell to it. So basically the first thing I do is I wipe down my microwave really, really well, getting any of the spills or anything that I can't get. And if that doesn't work, I go ahead and put a bowl of lemon juice in my microwave and cook it. And that helps loosen up any caked on disasters and it also freshens it up very, very well. And I give everything a good wipe down and all that jazz. All right, so the fourth thing I do is deep clean the top of my stove. This is another area that can be a complete disaster. And I have a white stove, so everything shows up and it's essential that I get all the messes all cleaned up. So the solution that I use is cream of tartar and you can get this in the spice section at any store. I picked mine up at Walmart and I mix it with vinegar, of course. So I take a brush, um, you can use a toothbrush or just a normal basting brush and I go ahead Ahead and I make sure I hit all the burners really well in the rings and then I um, put it also on the little grates that hit I don't even know what you call them the grates that you put on top of each of the burners with this mixture I let this sit for about 15 to 20 minutes so you can go and do some other things um, or whatnot but I make sure I hit all the parts that get black and yucky and gross and all that Next, I get my rubber gloves on and I go to town. I basically take a scrubby or some type of scrub brush and go around and clean everything really well. This is a little time consuming, especially if you don't keep up on it. So I do try to do this as much as I can, but sometimes I forget and then I have a disaster. Mm -hmm. 
with the little grates I guess you call them the burner these are the covers that go over the burners I do let those soak while I'm doing that rinse them and then place them right back on the stove as you can see here and voila all right lastly I love to clean all my surfaces I basically pull everything off my counter and spray down my counters getting the backsplash and every single end of the counters I do do clean my counters pretty much every day but I like to give this a deep clean by taking everything off of it and hitting every single spot tips to deep clean your kitchen if you have any tips that I didn't do that I should probably include in my kitchen please let me know in the comments below if you don't want to miss any videos from me make sure you hit that subscribe button it should be white and not red give me a thumbs up if you love deep cleaning and cleaning videos and remember to always subscribe and I will see you guys real soon so have a fabulous day talk to you real soon